Hey toy fans, I'm D21Beast and welcome back to my figure review series here on my YouTube channel. And today we are once again going boldly where no one has gone before. That's right, today we're touching on another Art Asylum Star Trek The Next Generation review. And today here I do have Commander William T. Riker from Season 7 of Star Trek The Next Generation. William T. Riker was of course played by actor-director Jonathan Frakes on the TV series of the same name and the subsequent movies. And these are a great line of figures. A lot of these Star Trek figures came out in the mid-2000s. All of them were high-quality figures with great accessories and great sculpting and great paintwork. So these were great to collect back then, and they're still great if you can find them today. Let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at that sculpting. The detail here on this Commander Riker figure cannot go unnoticed. I really feel like this figure in particular is one of the strongest likenesses to the actors of any of the figures in the Next Generation toy line. And as you take a look here, uh, we do see that he's got a sculpted beard there. And they do actually sculpt in some eyebrow furrowing there on his head. And every one of his hair strands is sculpted on his head there, which is fantastic. And they do paint him with a nice skin tone and nice hair colors there. And as we go down the figure here, you do see that he's got some red piping on his collar. And he's got those pips on the collar line there. And he's got some red on his uniform and a sculpted com badge. And his uniform is actually sculpted wherever the fabric changes or wherever the fly is or really anything that his clothes should have on there down to the slit on his pants there at the bottom and he's got that glossy paint there on the shoes. So this is something that they've done on all the figures in this line but it really is something that you want to take notice of because they did a great job capturing these uniforms. Now, As far as the painting is concerned I think the painting is really great on this figure. My only complaint is that my Riker happens to have a little bit of paint slop there on the back of his head the, from the flesh tone so you don't really see it that much since you're typically facing him front facing but uh, it's still worth noting. Definitely a minor minor complaint there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that this Commander Riker figure came packed with. The first thing we want to take a look at here is the display base that he came packed with. Now this is actually virtually identical to the display base that came with the Worf figure that I reviewed already, but it's still a nice action base. It's a transporter pad, which was featured frequently on the TV show. If you're not a Trekkie, a transporter pad is basically a teleportation device that'll send a character from one ship location to another ship, or from one ship location to a planet. So the cast was regularly standing on these on the show, and it's nice that we have that to display our figure with. Next up here, we do have a Starfleet issued data pad. This data pad here has its own unique screen there. It's got sort of a waveform readout. And then we do have some buttons in the lower right and some numbering there. The pad is blank on the back. And we also have a standard Type 2 phaser for Riker here. Standard issue defensive equipment on any sort of away mission. And Riker does come with a tricorder. And much like all the other tricorders we've looked at here, this is a very show accurate tricorder. It's got some great paint detailing on there, and it really looks like one of the props you've seen on the show. The tricorder is flat silver there on the back. And finally, Riker does come with these interchangeable hands. You've got a hand here that's kind of a chopping motion or just a neutral position, and a hand here that's meant to hold some items. And these hand accessories really are a great inclusion with this figure. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation on this Commander Riker figure. To start with here, he does have a head that rotates 360 degrees. It looks down this far, not very far at all. It looks up that far, a little better. And he does have that neck pivot. And he does rotate 360 degrees at his shoulder. His arm does swing out this far, which is nice, and swing back in. He does have a bicep swivel here. He does have a single jointed elbow and a 360 degree wrist rotation and that articulation is carried over to the other side. Now Riker is designed to swivel at the waist 360 degrees. My particular figure has never been able to rotate at the waist and I don't want to force it because it does feel like it might break. This is a high quality figure but the material of the plastic seems like it would break if you tried to force it. But he does have these classic hip joints here like the other figures in the line. His leg can move up that far and it does move back only far enough to return to standing position. He does have a single jointed knee, and he has foot articulation here. His foot bends up that far, and bends down that far. So that's the complete articulation here for this Star Trek The Next Generation Riker figure. Much like the war figure I've already reviewed, this Riker figure is extremely tall. And as I bring in the tape measure here, you'll see that he does stand at nearly 8 inches tall. A really big figure indeed. For some additional size comparison, here's Riker standing next to Captain Picard. And here's Riker standing next to the Marvel Select Doctor Doom figure. And here's Riker standing next to the 6-inch scale Marvel Legends Infinite Series Wolverine. 
And finally, here we have Riker standing next to Dr. Beverly Crusher from the 90s Playmate Star Trek The Next Generation toy line. Alright, toy fans, well that's my review of Star Trek The Next Generation Season 7, Commander William T. Riker. And overall, I am very pleased with this figure. I think Diamond Select and Art Asylum did a fantastic job getting the likeness of Jonathan Frakes on the figure. I think it's one of the best ones in the line. It's got some great posability, highly detailed, and besides that paint splotch on the back of the head, that doesn't really bother me that much. I mean, you're not even seeing it right now. I do think this figure is a fantastic figure to own. Now, he does go for a little bit these days on the secondary market, so you're going to have to put out the bucks if you want to pick him up, but he is definitely worth it. Thanks for watching my review, guys. If you like this review, please feel free to rate, share, and subscribe. Also, please hit me up on Twitter, at D21Beast. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey toy fans, did you watch this review and find yourself wanting to know more about Commander William Riker? Well, Star Trek The Next Generation actually streams on Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon. So take a look at these suggested episodes to learn more about this great character.